Yeah, so this is uh, our first opportunity to work with Caltrans and basically what they were looking for was they wanted a, a more robust technology with, than what they had currently uh, with a, a longer life cycle and they were looking for additional data as well uh, specifically low data in addition to the, the volume and the class uh, as well as for that data to integrate in with their existing systems. So the previous technology was a, a, a piezo type sensor and it had a limited life cycle and one of our biggest problems was the data wasn't available to the public and uh, we, the newer data is now being automatically pulled and brought into our, our PEMS system which is the Caltrans performance measurement system and it's, it's public facing so all of our planners and partners can now access this data anytime they want to and it's very valuable. And the other thing we, this system provides is, is weight data, which is very good to have when you're planning. The way the public's gonna benefit is with this new data, we'll have a better time understanding the traffic flows and better able to manage the state highway system. So with the, the more we can understand that, the more, so lane closures, anytime if we're doing planning and development and Looking into the future, this data will be a great help in, in understanding that. Cost of the product for the information it's going to deliver is phenomenal. I mean, the value of, of what information the state is going to get, they're getting information probably at a tenth of the cost. They're helping me be successful. But what's been, again, better in our opinion was the hands-on with everything. I mean, they've come I think it's been three or four times Kissler has shown up and uh, the on-site training has been really phenomenal on this project. I mean, far superior than anything we've ever dealt with.